Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ve la havle ve la kuvvete illa billahil-aliyyil-azim. Elhamdülillahi rabbil alemin ve sallallahu ala seyyidina ve nebiyyina Muhammedin ve alihi tahirin. In Islamic mysticism, Erfan, uh, it is always mentioned that uh, two topics are the main subject in Erfan. One is the question of Tawheed and the second is the question of Muwahid. In this session we will talk about Muwahid, uh, a theory in Erfan known as Al-Insan Al-Kamil, a universal man or perfect man. Uh, this concept is first appeared in 7th century in the writings of great uh, Persian poet and mystic Attar Nishaburi, the author of Mantiq al and in the works of Ibn al-Arabi, Muhyiddin Ibn Arabi. Uh, who developed uh, this theory and concept, of course, before him and in throughout Islamic history. Uh, we had uh, such a topic, but uh, I'm talking about this term, Al-Insan Al-Kamil. What is the position of human being in the world? what role human being plays in the world and what is the status of man in the earth. Uh, in the books of Irfan, uh, after they discuss about God and his manifestation, his names, attributes and manifestations of God's names. They talk about different stages of the world. Alam al-Uqul, Alam al-Mithal, Alam al-Tabi'a. Every creature in the world manifests and represents one or some of the names of God. وَبِأَسْمَائِكَ الَّتِي مَلَأَتْ أَرْكَانَ كُلِّ شَيْءٍ Everything is uh, reflection of God's name. Uh, Ibn Arabi says that uh, when God created everything, and as his manifestations in which God see himself you know the world is considered in this view as a mirror in which God sees himself and each being each creature uh, is a mirror that shows some aspects of God, some names of God. Uh, then, according to analysis of Orafa, God wanted to see himself uh, perfectly in a being, a, a single being who is able to show all God's names. Before human being, there were no creature that is able to show all God's names. 
they can show one or some of God's names. Uh, but God wants to see himself in a being that is able to show, to manifest all God's names. And this being is a human being. So human being is different from all other beings in his creation. Because creatures are either physical, corporeal, or immaterial. But human being is a kind of creature which enjoys both elements. He has corporeal body and immaterial soul. So even though he is living in the nature, in alam al tabiya in material world, but his soul belongs to higher stages of reality, immaterial world, immaterial realm. The Holy Quran uh, talks about both dimensions of human being, physical dimensions, biological dimension, and spiritual dimension. When it says, ثُمَّ خَلَقْنَا النُّطْفَةَ عَلَقَةً فَخَلَقْنَا الْعَلَقَةَ مُضْغَةً فَخَلَقْنَا الْمُضْغَةَ عِذَامًا فَكَسَوْنَا الْعِذَامَ لَحْمًا ثُمَّ أَنْشَأْنَاهُ خَلْقًا آخر فَتَبَارَكَ اللَّهُ أَحْسَنُ الْخَالِقِينَ Then Quran describe different stages of human being, different stages of human development from embryo to fetus to become a, an infant child. After some stages, or answers when its biological stages were completed, then we gave him another creation, a different type of creation. Which is different from material and biological you know, development. This is a stage which radically different from other stages. And this creature with this combination is unique in the world, is the best creatures. God describes himself as Ahsanul Khaliqin, this creator, when God creates human being. So this is the closest creature to God and the most similar being to God, even though nothing is like God, but relatively speaking, among creatures, a human being is the closest one to God. Because when Quran talks about creation of soul, it says that, وَنَفَخْتُ فِيهِ مِنْ رُوحِي From the Spirit of God, human soul is made. In uh, a verse, Quran says, خَلَقَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ بِالْحَقِّ وَسَوَّرَكُمْ فَأَحْسَنَ سُوَرَكُمْ وَأَلَيْهِ الْمَسِيرِ Your face your form, your shape, is the best of forms, the best of shapes. And in some hadith, which is famous, uh, says, خَلَقَ اللَّهُ عَادَمَ عَلَى سُورَتِهِ This is mentioned in Old Testament to God created human being on his own image, 
human being is created in the image of God. That's why human being is the most uh, beautiful creature, both uh, his soul and his body. Human body is also, in a sense, unique among uh, material and corporeal beings. Another aspect it is the spiritual value of human being. Quran talks about dignity of human being. As such, this species is dignified by Allah. وَلَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَا بَنِي آدَمْ وَحَمَلْنَاهُمْ فِي الْبَرِّ بَالْبَحْرِ وَرَزَقْنَاهُمْ مِنَ الطَّيِّبَاتِ فَذَّلْنَاهُمْ عَلَى كَثِيرٍ مِمَّنْ خَلَقْنَا تَفْذِيلًا Quran says that all heaven and earth and whatever in between are created for human beings. And human, God gave him dignity. So that when God created human being, demand, demanded the angel to prostrate for human being. فَإِذَا سَوَّيْتُهُ وَنَفَخْتُ فِيهِ مِنْ رُوحِي فَقَعُوا لَهُ سَاجِدِينَ Now, since human being has God's spirit, therefore, angel must prostrate before human being, which they did, except Iblis, who refused to prostrate. فَسَجَدُوا إِلَّا إِبْلِيسِ أَبَا وَاسْتَكْبَرَ Of course, this dignity is for all human beings, without exception. This is for this species. And this dignity is uh, essential in human creation. There is another dignity which is the source of value. That is what one gain voluntarily by his or her free will. When Quran talk, uh, says, Ya Yuhannas, inna khalaqnakum min dhakarin wa untha wajalnakum shu'uban wa qaba'ila wa qaba'ila litaarafu. O people, we created you from a male and female and made you different tribes in order to know one another. So up to here, all people are equal. They are from the same parent. They are created by the same creator. And their nature is the same. They both, they have both physical and spiritual element. But then Quran talks about another uh, type of value and dignity which one gains and this is not equal people are not equal in this regard it depends to their uh, free choices inna akramakum inda allahi atqakum so the one who is more pious who has more dignity before Allah. This is the source of value and perfection which depend on human, uh, on individuals, free will, and people are not the same in this regard. But human being, because it has both body and soul, both tendency towards good and evil sometimes may go toward evil to follow 
his selfish and low desires. In this case, human become the lowest uh, animals. Human loses his dignity, his value by his wrong choices. Then Quran says, "Laqad خلقنا الإنسان في أحسن تقويم ثم رددناه أسفل سافلين إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات فلهم أجر غير ممنون." Only those who have faith and good deed they enjoy from the special dignity. But those who don't have faith and don't do righteous deed. They lose this dignity. Sometimes they become worse than the worst creature, the most worst creature. In one case, Quran talks about those who know the holy book. They are familiar with the teaching of prophets. They know Torah, the Old Testament. They don't practice it. Quran says these people are like donkeys. مثل الذين حملوا التوراة ثم لم يحملوها كمثل الحمار يحمل أسفارا. They are like donkeys who carries books, but do not uh, benefit from these books. Those who have knowledge, but they don't benefit from their knowledge. Uh, this is their examples. And those who are slaves of their desires, their selfish desires, sometimes Quran resembles them to dogs. مثلهم كمثل الكلب. Those who don't think and don't benefit from their reason. Quran says they are the worst creatures. إن شر الدواب عند الله السم البكم الذين لا يعقلون. Those who are deaf, who are who don't think, don't practice, don't exercise reason. They are worst, uh, worst creatures. But those who do righteous things and have faith, they are toward, they are in the way of perfection. And Al Insanul Kamil, who is perfect in his faith and his good deed. Such a person has within himself all that is in the world, all perfections that uh, one can find in the world. Uh, you can see in perfect man, in al insanul kamil That's why uh, it is called al kumul jami, a comprehensive being, a being which uh, all beings are represented in him, and all God's names are manifested in in this personality. This is al kumul jami. Whatever, for example, uh, animals have, this insan al kamil has, and whatever immaterial creature have, he or she enjoys. That's why he is kawn al a comprehensive being. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.